Hi, kindergarten artists. So last week you got to create a scribble. So this is my scribble. Um, I added feet and a mouth and two arms. I even gave them some fun eyebrows. And if you notice, I used green, green's my favorite color, and I used a couple of different values of green. That's when it changes from light to dark. So. Now that my scribble is ready, this week you are going to get to take a piece of paper and you are going to create the rest of your scene. So on this piece of paper, you're going to create your land and your house, if you want to add a sun, all those things that scribble wanted to come play with. So, and then you get to color it. We'll do it together. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to make a house first. I'm going to start with a line along the bottom just to tell me, it tells me the difference between the land and the sky. So this is called a horizon line. I'm going to go about right here and just kind of go off. Now make sure you have a workspace. See how I went off my paper a little bit? I have this special board that I like to put down. So that way when I'm creating, if I do make a mess, it just messes up my board and not my good table. Okay, so there's my horizon line. I'm gonna start by just making a square or maybe a tall rectangle, but I kind of want a square. I'm gonna add a triangle to that to make my house, a rectangle for a door, and just like house in the story, I'm gonna make two more squares. And these can be a little sloppy, that makes it fun. All right, I can't remember if house had a doorknob or a chimney, but this is my picture, so I'm gonna make it the way I want it. All right, so there's the house. Um, I'm gonna add a sun. It's just a circle with some lines. Um, if you wanna add a cloud or two in the sky, you can. Put a tree over here if we want. I'm gonna add a little walkway. And you can just add all kinds of little details. If your house has something, like maybe your house has some flowers up front, you could do that. Maybe your house has a mailbox at the end. Sorry, my crayon needs a little bit of sharpening there. Okay, and then once you have your scene kind of drawn out the way you want it, then you get to color it. Scribble gets to come and join the picture. And so just go through and use crayons. Um, some things I want to remind you, when we're coloring or creating a work of art, we're going to use the whole picture top to bottom, side to side. So when we create, we are gonna color everything we can. Does that mean that things don't have to be, or can't be white? No, my clouds can definitely stay white. But I wanna make sure if I'm coloring the sun, I get the sun colored in all the way. If I'm coloring grass or the sky, sometimes I see some of my artists like to make this this line for the sky that we really like to come in here and just do a little blue line up here. But remember, when I look out the window, the blue goes from the sky all the way almost to the ground in some cases. Sometimes it touches the trees. So I'm gonna fill up and finish coloring my whole picture and I can't wait to see yours on Flipgrid. Make sure you upload them there and tell me about them. All right. Now that I am all finished coloring the whole page, top to bottom, side to side. I will now put my scribble near him and I think my scribble will go over here and every good artist always signs their work so sign your 